What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at our third LEGO custom from Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. This is a third out of five for these characters, and I'm very excited to finish off the wave that I have planned, and I am very proud of this LEGO custom. I am so happy with how this one turned out, and I was actually planning it whilst watching the movie. If your brain works like I do, it does a lot of things at once. Uh, I don't know how I do this or why I do this, but as I'm watching movies, I watch it in three different ways at the same time. One, just to enjoy it and watch the movie. Two, I'm nitpicking at the movie and try to analyze it for film review. And then three, I'm looking at the characters and trying to think of how I can make them in Lego. I'm doing all three of those at the same time, and it can be a little overwhelming sometimes, so that's why I don't watch a lot of media. I simply watch, like, one anime or, like, one movie a day to get my fix and to try and stimulate my brain as much as I can in those three areas because I like to use my creativity in these ways and make videos for you guys. So, anyway, back to the bard. The bard is the main character of the movie. He was backstabbed by the con men, pretty explanatory there and he was thrown in jail and he isn't the best bard i'm gonna be honest he doesn't use his music a whole lot none of the sort of trickery or normal bard stuff in dungeons and dragons happens here he sings like two songs and that's it he's normally used as a distraction and to be fair there's normally a lot of seducing with bards and like sexual content with bards I'm quite happy that there wasn't any in this movie because I feel like I didn't want them to rely too heavily on the sexual content like most media does to get people's attention. And I just feel like they could have used a little bit of magic with him like as he was singing or playing a song, he could have mind-controlled a couple of people here and there. But you know what? It's fine. He was a pretty shit bard anyway, not going to lie. But the parts I'm using for this Lego custom are the legs from... A Lego Friends character from the Friends side. I do believe it's Monica. And the torso is from uh, Frodo from the Lego Lord of the Rings sets. Sorry, I was thinking of Bilbo, but I knew that wasn't right. And the head and hair is from Bucky Bards from the Lego Marvel minifigure series 1 from Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm very happy with this Lego custom. I'm going to be honest... For a main character, the bard wasn't very interesting. He was very basic and a very weak character in the movie. I much preferred all the other side characters than this one. His motivation was good, though, uh, with him trying to rescue his daughter. But other than that, that's all he really had going for him. And if you want to find out more of my opinions on this movie, you can go check out the other LEGO customs that I've done. Or go check out the film review on this movie. But that's all from me. I hope you all enjoyed. See you all next one. Have a nice day. And goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.